Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I know it's been a little while since you've seen me. Uh, we all know how it gets, life gets in the way sometimes, but I'm here now. You can see that I've recently chopped my hair all off. I'll go into a little bit on that later on in the video. Um, today's video, I'm so excited to be talking to you about a brand called Save Me From. They are an amazing hair care company. Their products are just, yes, I absolutely love them. I can feel a difference in my hair with using them. They've been nothing but kind and generous towards me. Love them so much and I'm here to spread my love for them with all of you. And in the process, I'm going to show you guys how I now style my newly short hair. I gotta say, I've been loving it. We're going to be talking about three specific products today. The first one being the Product Overload. The second being Thermal Obsession. And the third is the age acceleration. I'm going to walk you through a process of how I use each individual product. And there are so many more that they have in their line to target different hair needs, which I will touch on in other videos. You have seen me talk about the chemical conflict before, which actually I love mixing this with my semi-permanent hair colors when I do my funky Arctic Fox hair colors. If you've watched my videos for a while, you'll have seen all my many hair changes. Chemical conflict is great for that, but that's not in today's video. <laughs> before I ramble on too much, let's just hop right into it. I'm going to do the whole process from pre-wash to wash to style to everything and in between I'm going to hit on some key points about this company that makes me love them so much. So if that sounds like a video for you then keep on watching. They did just send me a box more of goodies. This one is the Product Overload. And I'm going to put this in my hair. We're going to leave it sit for probably half hour or so. And as I let it sit, I'm going to talk about some key points about this company and their products. So with this, I am going to start my hair is clean. I'm going to dampen it. I'm going to apply this into damp hair. I have my trusty water bottle. I know that some people might be worried about this removing color in their hair or anything like that. And I know I don't really have color in my hair right now. It's basically just bleach blonde. But as someone who colors their hair a lot and with semi-permanent colors, I can honestly say this will not fade your hair. So my hair is damp. I love the packaging that these come in. They all have their own specific color. Comes in this nice little pump. We're just going to squeeze a little bit out. Prime it. And get it going here. All right, so this one comes out black, kind of like a clay formula. You really don't need much. I'm going to put some in my hands, rub it all in, and start putting it in my ends. I'm going to work it up into the scalp. Their products all smell so amazing too. I'm just going to really rub it into my hair, 
give the head a little massage because we all know that that is good. It stimulates everything, stimulates your blood flow. And it just feels really good. I love having my hair played with and my head rubbed. Oh, it is the best thing in the world. All right, it is all in my hair. You can see it did kind of leave like a somewhat of a gray cast on my hair just because of the color of the product itself. Do not worry, that does not stick to your hair. Rinses right out. So the product overload, what it says about it is it is a scalp detox and purifying pre-shampoo treatment for product buildup. Everyone that uses product in your hair, whether it be oils, hairsprays, volumizing sprays, the powder, volumizing powder, dry shampoos, anything like that, it will build up and build up and build up. Your shampoos, they do wash out some of it, but not all of it. So about once a month, I like to go in with this product and really do this. Most of the time I will leave it in overnight and then get up in the morning and shower it all out. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to leave it in for a half hour, maybe 45 minutes, and then we'll wash it out and talk about some other fun products that we're gonna be using. All right, as I let this sit in my hair a little bit, I'm just going to go over some of their key ingredients that they put in their products and read a little bit about them. So the first one is fenugreek. Fenugreek is an Ayurvedic herb used by Indian women to improve hair growth, shine, strength, conditioning, and to soothe the scalp. The seeds are soaked overnight, tended every few hours, and blended into a paste, which is then applied to the hair and scalp at least once a week. Karanja oil, a medicinal organic oil, also known as Pongamia, explored for its UV protection properties and rich in oleal acid that's shown to help control your hair's water loss, making it softer and more manageable. Medium chain triglycerides. Medium chain triglycerides, such as those from coconut oil, are proven, proven to be the correctly sized chain of fatty acids that can penetrate the hair shaft to its core, preserving proteins such as keratin and giving your hair maximum benefit. Bio boosters. Antioxidant rich bio boosters energize, nourish, enhance, shine, and manageability at the cuticle and scalp. Caffeine. Caffeine has been shown to penetrate the hair shaft and scalp, as well as work effectively as an antioxidant and helps improve hydration through osmosis. Creatine isn't just for muscle building. It also helps improve hair's mechanical properties by building the broken bonds due to heat damage. It also works well to lay down the hair's cuticle. Panthenol is a well-known cosmetic ingredient that improves elasticity and moisture retention in hair shafts. It can be referred to as a type of vitamin B, but when applied to the hair shaft, will convert into a panth pantothenic acid. Brazilian silkworm. Silk includes two powerful proteins, sericin, also known as silk glue, and fibroin for strength. These proteins are shown to help lay down the cuticle, giving your hair the chance to shine and restore strength. Those are some of their key ingredients. Um, I have noticed that a lot of their products have a maple scent to them. I absolutely, I'm Canadian, I love maple. Ma reminds me of maple syrup. But the, the maple scent you get from it isn't from actual maple, that is from the fenugen. He is at my feet. Another cool thing about this company is they're totally cruelty free. And this little critter, he likes that. I did want to touch base a little bit just on the, the scientist, as this picture here states, meet the scientist. Her name is April Peck. She's the CEO and founder of Save Me From. 
She is a beauty industry veteran, having co-founded the award-winning skincare collection featured on the Inc. 5000 list, Hydropeptide. April has been featured in Beauty Independent, Authority Magazine, and the Beauty Industry Report for her clinically proven hair care and for her pursuits to raise awareness for suicide prevention. April is a mother of three, BYU grad, breast cancer survivor, marathon runner, and QPR, like CPR, an emergency response to a suicide crisis certified instructor. With years of experiences, April identified a void in hair and scalp care. She wanted to make clean plus clinical targeted solutions that solved common hair concerns due to damage while strengthening and deeply replenishing the condition of the hair from tip to root, inside and out, just like she had done in skincare. And there's a little blurb here that she actually has up I'd like to share with you. These are her words. After losing my sister to suicide, I was determined to find a way to save others from suffering the same fate. I created Save Me From to advocate suicide prevention and personal empowerment. I believe a good hair day helps us feel comfortable with ourselves. This love enables us to do so much more. Save Me From's mission is to save hair and save lives. By donating 10% net income to charity organizations, working to end suicide. Your purchase will improve your hair, plus give back to help others. And personally, I gotta say, dealing with the company has been nothing but amazing. As you guys know, I've shared with you a little bit, I have recently been going through some serious struggles, things, demons from my, my past. Uh, she is, her, her kind words and everything seriously has just uplifted and I truly do believe that the way you feel can definitely come from your hair. I was going through so much and I just did a big chop, chopped all my hair off and I feel amazing when you love how your hair looks, love how your whole appearance is, everything about you just it starts with self-love, so absolutely love this company. All right, I'll be back in a bit when I wash this up. All right, guys, I ended up leaving the product overload in my hair for probably two hours. I went and, like, prepped dinner and just, you know, did chores around the house and really let it sink in. I just washed it out. I'm going to brush it out a little bit and then I'm going to go in with product number two which is the Thermal Obsession. This one has the orange lid. Again, I love how color coordinated they all are. So Thermal Obsession says that it is a moisturizing cream, anti-frizz serum, and silicone free heat protectant, which is absolutely amazing. So we're gonna twist it off. It has the same kind of pump thing as the other ones. You push it down, a little bit comes up. This one is white. It's not gray like the last one. You don't need much, especially me. I have super fine, super short hair now. So I just take a little bit, rub it into my hands, warm it up, get it so I can like smooth it through my hair. And then with my hair still wet, I will run it through. I'm going to focus it on the ends of my hair and through my bangs here. I like to focus it in my bangs because this is where most of my heat styling happens is in my bangs. I mean, I don't really care so much with the back once I round brush and stuff, it kind of looks all right. But my bangs, I really, really go in with the flat iron. And if you have bangs, you know, they're what you style the most, right? So that's all worked in, you know, brush it in through. And I'm gonna grab my blow dryer. 
and I'm just going to kind of add some music. I'm not going to talk through this because you're not going to be able to hear me anyway with the blow dryer going. So you guys are just going to kind of see how I go about blow drying my hair without the commentary behind it. So as I blow dry, I'm, you're going to see me flip my hair from side to side, up and down, get volume where I can, and then after it's about 50% dry, I'm going to go in with this bad boy and kind of give it a bit of a blowout. Here we go. My hair really doesn't take long to dry, it's super fine. So it's kind of where I want it now to section out and really start to get like my style blown into it. So much easier if you guys can get your blowout style first before trying to do it with a flat iron. It just makes it, makes it so much easier if you can do it with a round brush and a blow dryer. With a few bobby pins, I'm just going to section out the top portion of my hair where my bangs and like the top of my crown hit and then I'll take a section lower kind of right around the ears and I'll pin that up spin so you guys can maybe see what I'm doing and then it leaves me with this this pretty much I'm just gonna like blow dry straight down here we go I kind of like change how I hold the brush sometimes I'll pull it out this way and then I'll go under this way just because I really want to get extra volume in my fine hair so I want to bring it out and then lift it up just we got to do what we got to do when you got hair like mine right ladies Now we pull down the last section. So with my bangs, when I do them, I try to get them done pretty quickly. If you have thicker hair than mine, you might want to do like your bangs first because I find they dry the quickest. But my hair really doesn't take long. So again, when I do my bangs, I like to... I don't wear a full-on bang, I mean it can, but I usually like flip them off to one of the sides. So I kind of do the same thing. I'm going to start doing a forward and pulling up motion like this, and then I'll switch it and go under just so I kind of get lift from every angle. So now we're left looking something like this. The bangs look crazy right now because they're off to that side. I will end up flipping them to this side, but I want to keep the volume when I flip them. So we're going to keep them that way for now. And then we're going to go in with the flat iron. I have my flat iron. I'm not going to put any extra product in my hair because that thermal obsession works so well. And then I don't like wash my hands off as I'm blow drying so the excess product from my hands even now as I'm flat ironing and running my fingers through it and sectioning it's still putting that little bit of extra product in your hair with with hair products a lot of the times less is more you don't need to overdo it you don't want to weigh your hair down so I can feel that I still have some in my hands so what I'm going to do now, I have got my croc green iron flat iron here. I set mine usually at 370. I'm going to kind of do the same sections I did when I blow dried my hair. I'm going to first section out my top bangs and the beginning of my crown. And then a section 
just above my ears, kind of like around my, my temples area. And that's where I blow dry. When I flat iron it, I will do one extra section. Just this thick part by my neck. I'll do one more, just kind of like that. It's really short, so it's kind of hard to get pinned up there. But whatever falls down, falls down. Don't worry about that. We got short hair, ladies. It's going to do what it's going to do. And now I'm just going to, there's really no talking involved needed with this. So you guys can enjoy some music and just watch me straighten my hair. So with my bangs, I am actually going to like do them this way as I kind of smooth them and I don't hit them for very long. You can see I'm like barely touching my hair with the flat iron. I don't want to burn my hair, but I find if I put it down any lower than about 370, it really doesn't do much. So I turn it up a little hotter than my hair should probably handle and I just like you can see I just quickly kind of hit it there. Now when I flip it over to the other side, I get that volume right there. A little bit right in there. All right, let's turn that off. So now we're at this point. This is kind of how it's looking. We've got some volume. It's looking maybe a little crazy. Our bangs are still able to be flipped either way. I prefer this way. I've got the eyebrow ring here and just, just where I wear my hair. And then I'll like tuck this side like that. But my favorite product from them right now has seriously been the age acceleration. Especially since cutting my hair short. What this one says is it is a hair thickening anti-aging treatment and a curl cream for you lucky ladies with that curly hair. I use it as an once my style is all done whether I straighten it hit it with the, the curl iron to give it some beachy waves or anything like that. So now we're gonna end it with this one. This one is silver. Age acceleration, again, comes with the pump. This one is also ki kind of gray, definitely not as dark as like the first gray product that we used. Again, just a tiny, tiny amount. Rub it in. This, I'm going to add, use it as like a pomade in my finished style. It's gonna help give it a little bit of texture, help separate a little bit, give it some volume. It's also going to help give a little bit of that lift that I like and help keep everything all in place. This stuff, it doesn't weigh your hair down even when you have super, super fine hair like I do. And that is it. Now, if you're like me and you like a little extra hold, but you don't want to be left with like that hard hairspray crunchy feeling, I gotta say this Sebastian Shaper Zero Gravity hairspray is one of my favorites. I started using this when I worked at a Studio 324 salon downtown where I'm from here. And I have been hooked on it ever since. It just helps give you that little bit of hold, keeps everything in place. I lift my hair as I spray it. 
but it's not like a typical hairspray where you can't touch it. Like this is very soft. You can still flip your hair around and touch it. It's brushable. It just helps. And there you go, guys. And that is how I've been doing my short blonde hair. If you guys are interested in trying any of these products, I will link their website down below. Um, if you want to use my affiliate link, you can use that. I will link down that down below. I know some people don't really like using those. They kind of feel like we're making something off of it. If you guys are looking for an amazing hair care product line that is multifunctional, you can use it as overnight masks, you can use it as a deep conditioner, you can use it as a pre-shampoo, as a heat protectant, as a styling aid. It's really good for everything, all hair types. And yeah, I think I'm going to leave it at that before I start to ramble too much. Anyways, if you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to go and hit that subscribe button down below. And if you want to be notified of upcoming videos, then hit the bell. Until next time, stay beautiful.